you don't know us, we are a duo of cosplayers who do some cosplay convention and do a lot of crafting. Here it's a monthly uh, vlog that we are doing to just follow our journey during this year where we prepare for the World Cosplay Summit where we represent the Canada. I try something new with the vlogging so <laughs> you will see a lot of experimenting because I again change place and um, I think I kind of like this place so and also usually I since English is not my mother tongue I'm a French Canadian so we speak English but I'm more fluent when I work than when I try to speak in front of camera so usually I have a text that I read and for this vlog I would try to just go free and improvise so sorry if my English is not perfect but I do my best and with practice you improve time for some personal update uh, actually not a lot of things happen this month oh yeah one thing during one of my photo shoot uh, we were in Montreal and I let my purse on the car for like 10 minutes and someone get into the car and stole my wallet <laughs> So I, it was kind of stressful, I had to do a lot of things to be sure that nobody stole my identity, get my cards back, it's still not solved, but yeah, I did my best for that. After, um, if we talk about the house, uh, right now I'm in the uh, friends room where usually, usually when we are friends coming they sleep here they have a full wall of manga and other kind of cute stuff like uh, daruma and um, a bed on the wall i don't know the, the <laughs> name in english but uh but yeah for the house not a lot of things have changed uh we need to gather some money to finish some reparation but it's not reparation, it's more like improving the house, like having a bench in the hallway, uh, finish adding the packs, the final packs in the bedroom. And after we're gonna go to the crafting room where we will probably do more changing, removing that pink ugly color on the wall. I want it black. <laughs> but yeah. Um, in terms of personal stuff, yeah, nothing really um, worth mentioning. We see friends, so mental health, we are good. And uh, because for the next month, the snow is coming. Yeah, it's supposed to be hot, in, but we had some um, snow fall, I think it was yesterday and uh but it's it's okay no i hate snow uh but yeah and we have a lot of we have a lot of trees in the backyard in the front yard and um it's not a backyard anymore it's a leaf yard we have a lot of leaf there and we need to pick up everything but with the snow that's changed all the plan at least everything's have uh, melt so we should be fine, but we need to the leaves dry to be able to pick them up easier. At least Yokai is happy to have a uh, to have a leaf backyard. If we continue with Yokai, her little boy is good, is healthy. Um, it's like he have new toys, he destroyed them. Uh, we give him new tree, he heat them in an hour. Uh, but yeah, actually I'm making something kind of special for him because we, with all the new costume we made for the WCS, I also made some accessories to, for him to do some kind of cute photo shoot. Like since we do Naruto, he has his uh, Konoha headband, it's, it's kind of cute. But 
I also made, I'm currently making something new for him and I'm so excited to show it to you but since it's not done I will not tell what it is but it will be a surprise for maybe a next uh, monthly vlog but at least it will be for spring for spring it will be done but yeah you can guess it's a cosplay for him <laughs> but more accurate than just an accessories it's a real cosplay for him cosplay time so in terms of commission we're still working on one of the commission we have um, and it's kind of slow for us for, in terms of commission and it's okay since we have to focus a lot on WCS it's better for us to not have commission for the next year we are still open to commission but we are not searching for client also for photo shoot we had two photo shoot uh, this month one was my which version of Sailor Venus that was Minidoko who shoot me uh, we made a small setup and passed me her cat Duchesse uh, since Artemis is a white cat and we don't have a white cat and I can transform Yokai to be a white cat it's quite impossible but yeah we made a nice photo shoot and it was really nice and the picture I'm really happy to have finally a Halloween costume, like a Halloween cosplay that fit the vibes and I think I will try to do it more for the next year having some team cosplay that fits because I'm Julie, I'm, I'm the type of cosplayer we wear um, fur cosplay in summer and bikini cosplay in winter yeah <laughs> The other photo shoot I had is uh, shooting my Red Riding Hood uh, that from Saino Alice that I wear at art to play So it was with Billy, Billy Filmmaker and it was really nice because we set it up like when the sun goes down so I have like cute picture like it, they are so cute and I have some in the dark with the claw who lights up and stuff like that I really like that shoot and I'm so excited to show it to you. For WCS, we get a new uh, sponsor from Needle Workshop with a company uh, from Montreal who do patterns for cosplayer and I'm really picky in terms of patterns because Mark is huge and I'm really tiny. So usually pattern don't fit and for character like bleach we need stuff that really fits together. And Needle Workshop have a pattern for uh, Akama, Kimono and Aori that fits perfectly and they have such a big range of sizing that is so perfect for us to do the bleach and be exactly the same. So we are so happy to work with them and we'll probably have more project with them in the future. We also receive half of the stuff from Red Moon Cosplay who is also sponsoring some weapon and some foam for uh, Dragon Ball Bleach and uh, the Final Fantasy costume and even upgrading some stuff on the Naruto's cosplay. And I'm almost done with Nanao from Bleach. I'm only missing like some part on the wig because I want to make a headpiece made with the same fabric for the pink Aori for Shinsui. And since I don't have that fabric, we recently received the sample to decide what sil which silk we're gonna take for the pink Aori, where I do a lot of embroidery. I make a lot of tests of embroidery and Oh my god, I love that machine and I love making all of those patterns so I will probably continue using an embroidery machine. I have slowly started on uh, working for the Dragon Ball cosplay. My goal is to finish the bleach, most of it, the bleach cosplay and the Dragon Ball cosplay before the end of the year. So I can focus on upgrading the WCS Final Cosplay and the Final Fantasy one, which they are quite complicated. 
but yeah, if and if I continue on the Naruto cosplay, we are starting just upgrading, like just looking if everything's still fit, everything uh, don't have damage from the fight we did on stage. Everything has been tested, and that is a tip for you if you do competition. Test your costume before, practice with them. I know it's hard, it took me years to understand, but practicing with that with the costume prevent a lot of catastrophe. So most of the costume are intact, everything is fine, but by example, uh, the wig for Jiraiya, I have he had some um, paint stain on the side because since his makeup is kind of heavy, the makeup transfer on the wig. So I clean the wig, I remove most of the glue on the beard. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. Prozade is a wonderful glue, but it's painful to remove. That's why it's also painful to remove from your face. But yeah, that's. I think it's all I have to say for the Tobolusies. So if I continue on the personal cosplay, since I mainly like I shift my focus from um, doing my personal cosplay and I try to finish two set of cosplay for the WCS, I don't have made a lot of progress on my personal cosplay. I have started working on Iki from Air Gear, and it's kind of hard, but. I know it's not a complicated costume, but Hair Gear is my favorite manga ever. And I think I read this manga like six times, and I will probably reread it again. But yeah, so I want to be perfect and have like the right wig, the right fabric, that everything fits perfectly. And that's take a lot of motivation, but I'm going there, I, I, I will finish him this year for sure, but it's kind of hard for me right now to have the motivation to finish him, because right now I'm waiting to see my friend to um, use a little bit of our embroidery machine, because mine is quite small, and do the big logo in the back, need like twice the size that I have. I try to do multi hooping, but since I have multiple color and line that are supposed to be follow each other, it's too hard. I try, but it's too complicated, and I don't want to risk it on my fabric. And I did a lot of test, so I will met her. But since I don't have this piece done, I don't have the motivation to do like the glove, the belt. Uh, I can go further on the top because I want to stitch the logo on the back. So I can do the sleeve, I can do the zipper uh, there, there, and in the front. I can't uh, add the bias around because I need to close everything. But so yeah, I have Vicky in mind, but yeah, and after Bo A. Hey, all the other cosplay you talk in the other vlog you did, yeah, like um, I think I have Kindred I've talked about, and I had um, Eon Fortia from Trinity Blood. Since I received all the um, sample for the silk, I will be able to make a decision on the fabric and order everything at the same time. So the Shunsui one and the Iron to just order on one batch because shipping in Canada is really, really expensive. So I tried to do it in batch. So I will be able to order my fabric for Hyun because it was the part that I was missing. And I had all the fabric to do Kindred. So I think right after I finish Iki, I will jump on Kindred just on a small task just to keep up with my brain. Yeah, and I think it's an, it's enough for this month. It was buzzy and not buzzy at the same time. I was all over the place. I tried to do a lot of stuff. 
but don't have material or motivation to do some stuff but I see some friend, I have my wallet stolen so many things happened this month but yeah, the month is finished <laughs> so let's see each other in November and if you want to follow our adventure daily you can just follow us on Instagram and on Facebook where we post at least a picture of your guy so please enjoy your guy picture so yeah. <laughs>